What's going on? Nick, John, John X John, Magnus Larson, John Nassif, straight up. What's going on, niggas? What's going on, niggas? Y'all boys good? It's a me, your boy. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> hey, it's me. Anyways, um, I'm gonna let the music play for a little bit more. Um, yeah, I'll be back. What up, niggas? What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? What's going on with you? What do you mean, what's going on with me? I'm perfectly fine. Attic is perfectly fine. What y'all mean? I'm a little confused. I thought OnlyFans had its own streaming thing. Does it? Well, if it does, we're going to be finding out today. I'm going to be trying to see the ins and the outs of this program um, as we do this shit. My boy, my sweet boy. Sweet boy. <laughs> Don't call me that. Are you still a god? Yeah, you're a god too. We're all gods. How many times do you do I have to say this shit for you? Nigga, damn. It's early morning. You got me repeating myself out here. What's going on, cutie? What's going on, cutie? Niggas is good. You got a subscriber. Fuck. How do I turn that sound effect off? <laughs> here we go. Ah, shit. Here we go again. The sound effect. I don't like this. I got to change it. OnlyFans doesn't even have a mobile app. Really? They don't have a mobile app on here? Come on, OnlyFans. Well, then again, it's... I mean, who the hell's really using OnlyFans like that? I'm only really even using it just to be able to downsize my audience. I'm I'm, do, I'm literally doing a Thanos on some of the smaller streams. Um, let me play this. I've been listening a lot. You know what I've been listening to a lot of lately? I've been listening to a lot of the um, Street Fighter uh, 3 Second Impact soundtrack, man. That's one hell of a fucking OST. So I'm going to be playing a couple more songs from that one. Hopefully you guys are good with that. Uh, and uh, I'm not really... I don't know how long... I, I don't know how long I'm streaming today, but um, we'll see. This is all just a test, like I said. What's going on, Cynthia Aba Aiba? Aldaba? What's going on? No, this is... No, actually... Dude, this isn't set. This isn't third strike. This is second impact. You know what I'm saying? This is not the third strike. Third strike has great music too, but I like second impact soundtrack a lot too. We going back to regular streams though. I'll do. You know, my regular streams aren't going anywhere. Everybody acting like OnlyFans is gonna be the only time I stream. I mean, they're nigga. I never said I was gonna and gonna end my big streams. Like, of course I'm gonna still do big streams on TR1 Iceman and shit like that. Like that's. That's my bread and butter, bro. How am I not going to do that? I just want to do smaller ones on here. But sometimes niggas don't un niggas don't read. Niggas don't they don't understand. What's up, Etika? Now nah, I'm chilling, bro. Will you stream the E3 and the direct stuff on OnlyFans or only on um, on YouTube, dude? Of course, I'm only gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do all the big stuff still the way that I normally do it. The big stuff that I, I I naturally like none of that's changing at all. I'm just gonna make more. I'm gonna be doing way more frequent smaller streams on OnlyFans because I like having a small audience. You hitting them games again? Of course I am. I'm gonna probably do maybe a few games on uh, OnlyFans. How's your door? Still busted wide the fuck open. Are you gonna tell about your time away from social media? Man, my time in the motherfucking mental ward, bro. It's fucking annoying. Do you know how annoying it is being a mentally sane nigga inside of a mental ward? How was the hospital? absolutely atrocious man you can't eat what you want Etika, are you sane now nigga i've never been mentally sane nigga I've always been tweaked from the very beginning. Anybody who's surprised by this shit, you're new niggas.
Nigga, you ate raw eggs? Yeah, raw eggs are really fucking good for you. As long as you get them pasteurized, so that way you don't get salmonella. Let me see, I'm gonna play another second impact song. Ah, and the sound effect, here we go again. Okay, let me, let me play this. Okay, so I see there's still a couple of people that are freaking the fuck out inside of the chat. And uh, dude, somebody here is asking me to apologize. I, I don't think there's... Well, besides the suicidal tweet thing, which was a, like... I, I explained why that was something that I need to apologize for. Because using metaphors of life and death like the way I had been, it sometimes made people think that I was suicidal. So I, I apologize for that. And there's absolutely nothing else that I'm apologizing for. I mean... What the fuck need is there? If you if you think if you think I still need to give an apology at this point, then I'm sorry, bro. But you're not gonna get it, and you're not in the right place for it either, nigga. I I already made a policy at this point where it's like I'm no longer fucking with the bullshit, man. I can't. What about saying f the Jews? I say f everybody. I say f everybody. It's like South Park over here. Everybody can catch shit. I was throwing shit in everyone's fucking faces, man. That, that's a way that, like, but if you weren't here from way back in the day, then you don't know that fact about me. Anyways, um, I'm, oh yeah, the NYPD should apologize for breaking my door. My shit is still open, man. Shoot. Why'd y'all have to send the SWAT team down here? I was just fine. <laughs> uh, Etika, you don't need to give shit. Just give us, um, reactions. Well, I do have a lot of reactions that I need to catch up on, admittedly. Like, I didn't do, um, one for the Sonic shit, so... That kind of, that's a little bit overdue right now. Dumbass, you punched a police officer. No, I didn't. Actually, okay, and I need to explain that too because here's the thing, right? When I get taken, when I got taken to that fucking mental ward, it's like I have no say of my own and everybody just sees the information. He punched me. 
He punched me. I didn't go out attacking fucking police officers. I wasn't out here like some motherfucking RoboCop coming out here looking, giving motherfuckers the business. No, he attacked me after I gave him the middle finger. Yeah, so that's what happened. I'm To be honest, I was surprised the motherfucker attacked me. I thought cops were supposed to be composed and, you know, kind of keep themselves all together and all that. I was, I was amazed when he swung at me, and it was a really big swing. I was like, damn, nigga, the cop don't give a fuck out here. Why do you think you really think I would go around hitting cops, nigga? No, but the video the video was pretty damn bad though. You didn't really get to see too much detail in it. But yeah, that's why I'm that's why I'm here. If I went out attacking cops, I'd be in jail right now. I'd be in jail. I would be in jail for what is it when you attack an officer? Isn't there a name for that? No. He attacked me and then they were like, Why would you give him the middle finger? Why was I get why was I giving him the middle finger? I was giving everybody the middle finger. Because everybody wanted to motherfucking, because at that time, niggas wanted me to be all up on their Instagram. Because that because right now, I'm kind of a, a legend around here. Like, my whole my whole area knows who the fuck I am. Everybody's always outside. There's always people here cheering for me, calling my name. I'm literally like some fucking hood star. I don't, I'm not trying to, like, over-glorify it. But everyone around me here knows me. And the thing is... My PayPal card wasn't going through because it was getting consistent. It was getting overwhelmed with donations from people online. So I couldn't swipe my card to get any food. And I was fucking starving at the moment. But yet everybody wanted to take pictures with me and was like, oh, God, God. so I was like, listen, man, y'all niggas, just help me out here. I need to eat something first. I don't have any energy. Let me get some food inside of me first and then I'll take your pictures. But the niggas didn't want to. So you know what? I, I was pissed off. I started giving everybody the motherfucking middle finger. I was like, no, no, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you fuck you and then the cop he was looking at me like an asshole and i was feeling like an asshole so i went to the guy i said fuck you too and then he punched me <laughs> that's the dude he punched me that's the craziest shit i'm telling you i'm not bullshit that's actually what happened i mean i was there i'll be like this is the first time you're hearing me tell the account that's exactly what happened you never read my donation but you read my comment about you punching a cop well uh, it was a comment that a lot of people were asking about so um, the explanation for the whole God shit and the revolution. No, 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 it's true. I'm God and you're God. I keep on, you want me to keep saying the same thing over and over again. Good God almighty, I'll say it. I am God and you are God too. You, we are all gods of our own universe. That's like a spiritual belief though. To be honest with you, not one that's all that crazy. You think I have a crazy belief thinking that I'm God and that you're God? You want to see what Scientology believes? I don't think you even want to step inside of that domain. So to be honest with you, you should be pretty damn happy that my spiritual belief is something that tame. Um, anyways, what's everybody been up to today, man? It's nice to see the boys are in here. I know we probably got a couple of boys who are also from, you know, public. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit tired right now. I just woke up. As you can tell, I didn't even do my hair for this stream. I just kind of jumped on board. I didn't even fucking take my morning shower yet. I'm literally just fucking... All fucked up. We are all equal, God. Yeah, dude, God. Yes. How many times do I have to explain it? Yes, we are all equal. I'm not better than you. Do you want me to say that? I am not better than you. We're all gods. Everybody, you're God. I'm God. He's God. He's God. He's God. Everybody is God in the stream. You are. Jonas is God. Uh, Ultra is God. Alphonse is God. Hamish is God. Radio is God. Joe is God. We're all one. We are all one, one universe, one God, one thing. This is like, it's, it's trying to repeat it though. It, it, why does the message, here's the thing that's annoying about being a content creator. It's like, I can say the same message and I can probably repeat it for the rest of my life and still the, the amount of people that need to hear it won't hear it. You know what I mean? What about me, Saturn Kick? Yes, you're God too, bro. It's Satanism. It's it's a satanic belief. No, it's not. It's not nothing satanic about it. Apologize for hitting the cop, you criminal. Okay, I know now you're just joking around with me. Uh, the Venus Project. Oh, that's like the, that's like a little project to see a different kind of a future that uses resources instead of the. Um, I'm tired right now, so I can't really fucking explain it. I, you know, I didn't. This wasn't a stream for me coming on here talking to niggas about fucking serious shit. I just came on here to test OnlyFans. You know what? Don't worry. Just came through with the subscribe button too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hail Hydra, nigga. <laughs> Hail Hydra. I like these small streams though. I like them. I love. I love being able to talk to people, um, one on one, real, real close quarters. I'm gonna check OnlyFans out right while I'm doing this, and just to see 
what the hell's going on over there. My focus probably isn't correct, but I don't give a flying fuck, nigga. Venus Project is bullshit, though. Well, you can... It's not like I'm forcing it on anybody, nigga. It's just something I like. You don't have to like it. I don't care if you like it. <laughs> fuck you. I don't, fuck, I don't give a fuck if you like it or not, nigga. I'm not forcing it on you. Relax. Re react to James Charles drama, my boy. Okay, first off, you're going to have to tell me who the hell James Charles is. And then I'll... Well, should I look it up right now? You know what? Nah, let me... First off, I'm going to have to disable this stupid thing this box give me a second i'm gonna play some music while i'm at it give me a second boys pro jerry cheat what what Pro Jerry cheated on his wife? God damn! That's the disrespect type shit out here? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, shit! Who said that? Oh, raw tomatoes. Yeah, those are some raw tomatoes, all right? Damn! Pro Jerry, where's he dipping his tomatoes? Damn! He cheated on his wife? That's fucked up. Damn, he sent nudes to fans? Only fans? Damn! Damn! Oh! Oh, Pro Jared! We only fans! We only fans! <laughs> What's going on? Oh, man! An underage girl? No, 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 no! No, stop, stop! 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 No, I just woke up this morning. I just woke up. I'm not ready for all this. I was I was I was I was only here to I'm here only to chill with fans. I was only here to hang out with my homies. And you you no oh 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 no 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 You gotta be shitting me. No way, hold on, did I did I really just read that? Sixteen! Oh what? Six sixteen? Oh, oh, damn, this is, this is, this, this is not good. Now that's a bro moment if I have never heard of one. Oh my God, come back to the internet and I just get slapped. Like that cop slapped me, <laughs> damn. This is, this can't be, this can't be. Yeah, you missed a shit ton in a lot. You know what, I, I can imagine I missed a lot, but bro, hold on a second. I, now now you guys got me fucking, you got me, you got me, you zooted right now. I gotta fucking look some of this shit up. Wow, nigga. <clears throat> Pro Jared, you still deserve a slap though, I mean. You gonna do it to me? The cop already did. He slept with the wife of Game Grumps. All right, now y'all just y'all gotta be fucking adding shit on. Y'all just put an extra sauce on there now. Let me let me see here. Let me let me look it up. Let me let me pull this shit up real quick. I gotta change my motherfucking thing around now. Um, wait, where is it? You know what? Let me move my camera or move my position around. So, all right, stop, 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 stop. No, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it. Y'all gotta be playing with me. Thanks for the sub, dog. Um, wait a minute. Y'all gotta be playing with me now. I'm gonna close this. I got a lot on my mind, dog. And that, I did not need that on top of it. Launch this okay etika lift your cap real quick Boop. it's nothing crazy i just haven't done my hair i didn't feel like doing it it's on drama alert bro no surprise there i guess all right i'm gonna try to see here we go back to the news i'm i'm not ready for all this shit 
I gotta oh I gotta move this. Alert box. Okay. So where are we going? We going to drama alert to watch this shit? Etika, why are you a clown? Because I put on shows every day. Why else would I be a clown, man? I've been a clown since 2000 and... When did I do that first YouTube video? 2006? Yeah. All right, let's pull this bitch up. On a lighter note, where'd you get that hat? My friend Michael Fortman made it for me a while back. It's a little bit old and tatted now. I need to get an updated version of it. Are you gonna watch Dreamy Creamy Kimi? Of course I am. Where else am I getting the news from? And we, man, th this this Sonic commercial, he looks so weird in some of these thumbnails. I saved my reaction though, I saved my reaction. We're not going to be reacting to things um, too much in this stream because I wanna do a formal stream when you know I'm not, and I'm not tired, or you know I'm not fucking scruffy and fucking just all fucked up. No, I want to do a, a genuine stream. Let me uh, fucking Keemstar. James Charles? Who's who's James Charles? Wait a minute. Do, maybe I know who James Charles is, but I just haven't attached the face to the name. Uh, all right. Drama alert. Let's see. Let's see. Or I could just search up Pro Jared. For, first of all, let me just... <laughs> porn up. <laughs> Pro Jared, wow! First things you see when you search this nigga up. Pro Jared wife. All right, let, let me just look that up. Before we look at Keemstar, or I'll just look at the drama. I never really watched Pro Jared. I never really watched too much of Pro Jared back in the day. But the fall of Pro Jared, a predatory, what? How an elf and a group of gamers exposed a pred, what? A predatory YouTuber, husband obsessed with soliciting nudes. This can't be, this can't be the right universe. Some, did somebody, did somebody switch around something? Because I thought, isn't Pro Jared loved? People, people have been sucking this dude's ass for years. And he makes really good quality videos. I mean, even though I didn't watch him regularly, I, I always managed to see one or two uploads of him. And didn't he have an upload where he talked with Reggie at one point? Or maybe that's maybe I'm mistaking that with um, Matt Pat. This is crazy. Pro Jared, a gamer with uh, was accused by his elf cosplaying wife of having an affair. Then more disturbing allegations came in. So, okay, this is way worse than Dr. Disrespect, my nigga. Watch the Memeology 101 video on it. This is crazy. No, it's what he did. Yeah, he... Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, okay, yeah, he was with um, Reggie in a video before at one point, I remember. And he just lost it all like that. It's all gone. From what these allegations are sounding like, this doesn't really seem like something that he'll be able to come back from. This sounds like something on some R. Kelly type shit. Do you think, personally, if Pro Jared's gonna be able to come back from this shit? Hentai Haven is back. Is it actually back, like, thanks to that collab thing that they did with Faku? Bro. Okay, there's a lot of there's a lot of videos to watch about it, but what we're going to do, I'm going to read about it first, man. I don't want to just watch videos. I mean, we can always do that. Let me just see here. It was Wednesday nights. Damn, they, oh, shit. <laughs> they started it off like a storybook. They, they, they fucking opened the book on this nigga. That's how you know they're setting up for something big. They opened it up like a book. They said, it was a dark and stormy Wednesday. They like a fuck, Jerry, they got you all fucked up out here. Hell no, he ended his own career. He can't come back. Oh, and Scott the Waz had enough of Reddit raids with his name. Oh, really? Did the nigga make a video about it? Oh, man. Here we go. It was a Wednesday night. YouTuber Pro Jared Kanakabaker um, emerged from his fringe corner of the internet with a viral divorce announcement. Wow. So he announced a divorce. The lengthy post stayed till the morning until his newly ex wife public reaction. Uh, she quickly undermined it his attempts to control the divorce narrative. So he was trying to come out with the divorce thing first. And then 
she said, oh, hell no, nigga. I got something else to add in there. I got my own little sauce packet. Damn. He was booted. He was booted from normal boots. Normal boots gave this nigga the boot. Damn. Damn. You look skinny. You're on a diet or nah? when you're in that mental ward, you can't eat as much as you want to, man. They control your whole fucking diet. So now that I'm out of that bitch and I'm certified good, they got to fucking I got to fucking con get back into eating what I normally would. Um, quickly undermined his attempts to control it and began by she had no idea what he was saying about marriage on social media. He blocked her before announcing the split. Really? He blocked her? I'm honestly shocked that he posted this today because it's so blatantly selfish. This isn't a mutual statement in any way. Wow. He dipped into the first person plural throughout the statement saying we I've been living in a private hell for the last year, wondering if I'm going crazy because the person that I love told me the obvious that the obvious wasn't true, that I'm paranoid and wrong and that I'm not holding my tongue for his benefit anymore. Wow. How you blocked your wife on Twitter? <laughs> How you block your wife on, he divorced his, he divorced his wife, he announced the shit and then blocked his wife on Twitter. Yes, you block people too, you fool. Yeah, but the people that I blocked, there were people that only were pretending to be friends, man. Everybody mad about Sky Williams and shit, man. Sky Williams, I never considered a friend, bro. I mean, like, he, dude, me and Sky Williams are not friends. We were, like, at most associates, but not friends. Anyways, um, she went on to allege that her ex had been soliciting nudes from his fans for years. Pro Jared trying to get nudes from little fans watching his shit as a Tumblr joke. Then it spiraled into its own Tumblr just to, for nude. Wow, he had a he had a Tumblr page that was made just for nudes. Damn. Everybody that's surprised with the Sky Williams statement. I mean, dude, that's the facts. What what else do you want me to say? I never considered Sky Williams a friend, which is why when he started talking down to me on that bullshit, I just blocked him because it's like, dude, I no, I don't care how much you try to play up shit for fucking Twitter. I don't care how much you try to go on there and act a fool, how you try to act up and motherfucking make it seem like you're no, we're, we were, we're not close like that. I don't know you like that, son, like back up. Sorry, that's just the way it is, man. I never got a chance to express that because everybody was all over my ass for shitting on him in the first place. But nah, man. I mean, look, he was it's not like I hated the guy, but I don't he's not a friend of mine. He wasn't a friend. He was an acquaintance. An acquaintance at maximum. Somebody who I just knew through like he like at one point back in 2015 because of like the Iwata thing, he flew me out. But the thing is, he didn't, we never talked. We never, we never did anything. He flew a bunch of people out. Like it was never any, like, not that I don't appreciate what he did, but dude is, dude is way out of his lane. He's a fake friend. And you can tell that he kind of fakes that shit because Sky goes to every other big profile that's on Twitter and he just goes and tries to ride their coattail and try to suck dick and try to make it seem like he's all about, about them. Like he he jumps. He, don't you guys see it yourself? Sky Williams, motherfucking, he's a, he's a whore for attention. He's a, he's a, he's a fucking, he, he, it's obvious. And everybody knows it. Everybody who's close to me that's actually a friend of mine who I won't even name knows that shit. So get the fuck out of here, man. I'm not dealing with bullshit anymore. I'm not dealing with dumb shit anymore, man. I'm telling niggas the fucking facts, man. Shut the fuck up. Talk about your crush on Pokey. Well, I kind of scared her away, so I don't think she. I, I well, I don't think she wants to fuck with me anymore. But um, yeah, I still got a crush on her, of course. Um, anyways, let me let me continue reading this thing because this is already crazy. It kept escalating secretly. So this is crazy. He had a fetish for getting nudes from fans. He started a snap. He started a Snapchat for getting nudes from fans without telling me. How is she okay with all this this whole time leading up? So she knew actively that Pro Jared was using these social media tools to get nudes and and didn't say anything about it. What the fuck? Etika, there's some fake fans here. They got the link from Reddit. Take it down. Uh, I mean, I really don't give a fuck. In response to, I mean, eventually they're going to be able to go away anyway. I'm probably going to have to make a new OnlyFans and then have that one be the one where niggas 
you know, come through or whatever. In response to O'Farrell's threat, uh, 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 sixteen. Uh, I I knew I was sixteen. Uh, what? Sent pics with the dick clearly visible. We didn't speak every day, but most I sent him actual real news. This is crazy. This is some R. Kelly. This is this is some trapped in the closet type shit. My friend Chai just came through. Wow. It was a joke at first, and then it quickly escalated. His fan base consists large of mostly middle schoolers and high schoolers at the time. An open invitation to send nudes is oddly predatory and just kind of messed up. Yeah, it is. Wow. Dude. All right, so Alpha, I mean, Alpha, uh, Pro Jared, these motherfuckers, I'm getting these names mixed the fuck up. Dude, you can't really be charging $20 a month for streams. Just for the ones on, um, just for the ones on here. I'll still be doing my regular streams, but I'm going to be having my small little private ones where, you know, not that many niggas are for here. That's all. I'm just tired. Uh... Brand, a Twitter user who found Jared's NSA flip W for Twitter, found told the beast that the blog consisted of. Uh, uh, hmm. Change it to TO5. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So niggas got in. It was. Oh, look at that. Oh, we, motherfuckers. Niggas. Niggas is a. This is. Yeah, man. I'm still doing regular streams, man. Everybody acting like regular streams are going away. No, of course not, nigga. I'm I'm still doing regulars. I'm just this is just a test. Right now, I'm not doing I'm not like on some shit right now. I'm just literally trying to read up on this. This is a big ass article. How much shit did this nigga do? How how much shit did this nigga Okay, we got to watch a video. We got to watch a video. I did I I read as much as I can. Keemstar, take it away, please. Take this shit away, please. Do you shave your pubes or nah? Nah, nah. <laughs> only, only when necessary. All right, let me see here. Love you, fam. No homo, man. In in these kinds of streams, I demand the homo. Uh, let me play a little bit of music. I forgot to play some. Hey, hey, hey. I love this shit. All right, where is it at? Pro Jared's wife. Oh man, here we go. That article had way too much content for me to motherfucking sit through. I didn't. I, I didn't think it would be that much. I thought it was just gonna be a little bit. All right, let's see. Let's see. He didn't even wait for the thing to finish. He just went straight for it. Into the news. Treasure Paytas and H3H3 are going to war. And it's oh, getting God. Ready. But before we get into that story, we got to tell you about this epic story that happened last night. Oh, my God. It's so good. They Let's can make a movie out of this. It all started with this goofy looking YouTuber known as. Pro Jared. Pro Jared is a YouTuber with over a million subscribers that like covers like gaming stuff. Now that okay, See, well, now that we know the context of like what's going on with this dude, his face looks OD creepy to me, man. Knowing what the fuck he was doing, like god damn. Jared is married to that. Wow. Why would what what for him? However, there is trouble in paradise because Jarrett and his wife Heidi made the trending page yesterday. And let me tell you how this all went down. Pro Jarrett announced on Twitter yesterday that him and Heidi were getting a divorce. He put out a statement and this is what the statement said. My wife Heidi and I have filed for divorce. I know this may come to a surprise and upsetting for many of you, but know that we do this, that we may both seek happiness 
for ourselves. During this time, you may see a lot of rumors, speculation, and gossip going around. I ask that you make your own observations and come to your own conclusions. Rumors, really? He goes on to say this. I will add that this decision was reached after extensive individual Bro. therapy on my part and couples therapy. And together. she knew and about this said, shit. This is all she I knew plan the nudes were being shared. Regarding this matter, Heidi's privacy and mental well being and discretion has always been and will remain my highest priority throughout this time. Wait a minute, time out. So he's saying there might be rumors. And he's saying, oh, yeah, and, and my wife that I'm divorcing, mental health problems, just so you know. So if there's any rumors, she's crazy. That's what, that's basically what this statement says. Uh -huh. It is my hope that we can both exit this marriage with style and grace. I plan on continuing to do everything I can on my part to make this happen. Thank you for your understanding and patience, kindness, and respect for our privacy. That's right, guys. Pro Jarrett wants you to respect his privacy but he just told the world that, you know, his wife, she's crazy. <laughs> she's got something going on and she might be spreading some rumors, but respect our privacy. Little off with that one, but you know what? There was some support. In fact, after Pro Jarrett put out this statement, another influencer girl named Holly responded by saying, I'm so sorry this you're is going so... through this. I'm here for you. There's so it's many easy. layers to this. All right, let's give it up to Holly. It's, it's like an Holly's onion. such a good friend looking out for him in his time of need. But that's when, okay, that's when we finally heard from the crazy wife of Pro Jared. That's right, Heidi. That. Okay, she said this on Twitter. Are you ready for it? Are you ready? No. Here we go. Recently, I learned that my husband, Pro Jarrett, has been banging Holly Conrad behind my back for months. I had no idea what announcement he just made because he blocked me. Oh, oh so this god. is oh. oh my god the, the girl that was saying hey if you need any help i'm here for you is the girl that he was cheating on his wife with but on top of that not only did he divorce his wife on twitter he blocked his wife on twitter before he divorced he <laughs> starts an asshole <laughs> this thing is a fucking asshole when this why do you okay. laugh like that, bro? They started trending. That's right. Pro Jarrett started trending in the United States, and so did his wife, Heidi. Now, obviously, people started Fuck, attacking son. the alleged side hoe known as Holly Conrad. Holly Conrad responded by saying this. I understand some poop is going down on the internet. If you want to believe a hyperbolic statement from someone you don't know on the internet with hey, no you previous Man. background information, this, this is just a demonize strangers. So be it. This isn't anyone's business, but theirs. If it's worth anything, y'all know me. I would never hurt anyone. And I only want the best and happiness yeah, he for those around me. If you follow me for a long time, you know that gonna get off Twitter for a while. Hmm. That statement from the alleged side hoe. Makes it sound like, you know, she didn't do anything wrong. She wasn't messing around with Pro Jarrett. Hmm. The wife responded. Do we didn't even get Holly to the fucking. Conrad, you look we didn't even get to the. And insecure and all the nudes you Where's sent my the... husband. I think it would help your chronic self esteem issues if you started effing men that were already married. There's proof. Oh my god, there's proof. There's proof. There's proof. But then, ladies and gentlemen, this after dude. all this came out, yes, they're already trending, but Jared, pro Jared, pro cheater, okay, <laughs> starts trending number one. He said pro he cheater. He isn't the biggest YouTuber. A million subs. What is a million subs? Everybody has a million subs. He isn't the biggest name out there. Why is he trending? Why is this getting so big? Because of the fucking. Trending number one. Because of the nudes. States. Why? Because What's of the pet because of the pedal shit. What's happening is this. He wasn't just cheating on his wife with the alleged side hoe. Oh my it god. It was bro. fans. It was it was not just like ten. It wasn't just twenty. It was like fifty, Fucking like every Christ. single night. Pro Jared. So this dude was had an obsession. Oh! Oh! And they weren't all 
the same. It's not like the same nude who's being posted all over Twitter. No, he's there's taking like 20 of mad different conversations nudes. And conversations. Bro, Jared just kept telling all these different girls that him and his wife were in an open relationship, and he was sending them the banana pics. The banana pics, people. The dog? I literally lost count on how many different girls came forward with screenshots of their conversations with Pro Jared. The dog? But it gets even worse because then it starts to get like, um, what do you say? Uh, criminal! A transgender known as Chai basically tweeted out that, uh, yeah, he was 16. I think he's a he trying to be a she. I don't, I don't know. But he, she was 16 when Pro Jarrett tried to make the moves on him and was sending him wow so he pictures. he's and going for it he doesn't care claiming they were he do, he's, he, I mean, this if it's got a pulse he's so going for it control pro jared's career is finished now just so everyone's clear there's, yeah the there's nothing page. that can be done i live here. in buffalo new york and it's 11 30 in the morning as i'm filming this because I, I pulled a whole nighter to get this content out to you because i actually care about you but anyhow my point is this it's been about 10 hours since this all went down on Twitter. And pro Someone's saying people pay for this. Hey, it's a test. It's a test, okay? Thousand subscribers. Now listen, this story is far from over because with all these people coming out, there's just going to be so much more dirt on this story. This is going to be in the next drum alert, guaranteed. All right, so, so I probably got to make another OnlyFans. Because on this story and every other story going on in the community, make sure you take the time to subscribe to this channel right now with those notifications on. Because as soon as I get the scoop, I'm going to keep you in, in the loop. Also Fuck in no. the news. All right, well... Yeah, thank you for taking me through that fucking emotional roller coaster. I so pro Jared, that's basically it. The nigga's done. Um How how do you even begin to apologize for something like this on Twitter, man? I mean, he has a long road ahead of him. I'll tell you that much, man. Keep keep this OnlyFans cuz. Nah, I gotta probably This is why I was also doing a test too, because I wanted to see how easy it would be to for this one to leak, you know? And uh, yeah, it, it, it'd be pretty easy because the thing is I let people subscribe without paying before and so now everybody can get on there easily. So I'm going to have to probably make another one because the thing is the OnlyFans thing is meant for interaction. It's meant for, you know, it's meant for talking to my niggas. It's, it's, meant, it's not hey, ignored it all. No, I apologize for what I need to apologize for. There's nothing else I need to apologize for, man. And it won't be. They won't. I, I'll, I'll leave it at this. This will be the last time. There won't be any more apologies. So OnlyFans people, OnlyFans people, nobody should have paid by now. If, I, if, I'm, if I'm checking correctly, um, how many people have paid? How many? It should be nobody. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Four people paid. Those four people, I'm going to refund you and I'm going to make a new OnlyFans and then and then that'll be the one that we actually use because this, this one got leaked out. So it's like I can't really use this one yet. And plus, since I already have people subscribe to it from earlier, it's not really going to work out for me in the long run because then people will just clown it up with the fucking Reddit post or whatever. So anyways, guys, I'm going to end this little test stream for now. This was not meant to be being like actually there. This is literally just meant for me to be reading the shit. So for now, it's done. I'm going to make a new one. The four people that paid, I'm going to try to see if I can get you niggas refunded. I'm going to stop advertising this OnlyFans. And I'm going to, because I didn't know how it would work once I actually started to post and, you know, put the YouTube shit up. So I'm going to, I'm going to put a can on this one. I'm going to try to make a new one and we'll see how it goes. And from that one, it'll be 20 straight up. For all my niggas who are in here, though, who want to see the regular streams, my niggas, I'll see y'all soon. Don't worry about Don't listen to these niggas out here telling you, oh, you got to pay to watch Etika now. Don't listen to these motherfuckers spreading all this fake news out here, man. All this goddamn hatred out here, bro. It, don't listen to these niggas. I'm still doing regular streams frequently, bro. I just want to do my private little ones only. The thing is, when people see that, and they want to say I do things for money, but I yet you use all my footage. You can do whatever you want to with my footage. If I cared about money, I'd be striking how many channels on YouTube. It's not about money for me. I don't care about the money. I just want to have a small audience. I want to have a small audience. And plus, I make a little bit of money from OnlyFans too. It helps keeps my lights on in the bitch. Don't, don't you want my lights on? Man, 
listen, everybody, they misconstrue things to such extremes over here. But, you know, if you're watching me and you want to see me do a regular stream, you will be getting a regular stream very, very soon. I just got to get myself cleaned up first, man. And then it will be on TR1 Iceman. If you're not subscribed to TR1 Iceman, make sure you subscribe to TR1 Iceman. And if you really want to be part of those little, little, little small streams where it's only a handful of people and I really just get to mess with people individually in the chat and it's really slow and those are fun. I love doing those. If you really want to be part of those, then you can subscribe to the OnlyFans that I will be making, the new one. But for now... Um, I'm about to be out of it. I'll see you niggas later. Take care of yourselves, guys. You already have a small audience after your clown shit. Ha ha ha. Yeah, real, real funny. Yeah. Let's see what happens when I do my next stream. I'll see you in the next one, however. Whether it be on OnlyFans or it be on TR1 Iceman, I'll see you one way or another. So take care, guys. I'm going to go get um, this new one made. I still got work I got to do. I got. I, I, people who paid for this one, or only four people did. I, I'll try to see if I can refund you. You still on that BS diet? No, no, no. But I'm my fucking. I look skinny. I only look skinny because of my what I'm wearing. I'm actually not skinny. Like I'm, I'm really, I'm, 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 I'm decently fucking. Well, uh, maybe I am a little bit on the slim side. All right, later. This test was not bad, but it shows me what I need to do. So I gotta make a new OnlyFans.